It's been about three months since we released the ChromaScan Slidebox into the market, and with the recent version 2.3 release of the ChromaScan app, I thought it'd be a good time to do a more comprehensive video on how to use the Slidebox to digitize your 35mm slides and negatives. The ChromaScan Slidebox works its magic by keeping your iPhone at the exact minimal focal length away from this illuminated backplane. This keeps your images sharp while giving you the maximum resolution. Now you can power the slide box in one of two ways. First, you can use any 12 volt household AC adapter that has this DC barrel connection. These are quite popular with today's gadgets and you probably have several in your house. The second and most flexible way is to use the ChromaScan USB adapter. You might have gotten this cable when you purchased your slide box and you definitely don't want to lose it. This cable contains a step up converter that transforms the five volts of power from USB to 12 volts of power suitable for powering both the slide box and the chroma scan light box. Next, let's talk about how to position your iPhone in the slide box. This opening can accommodate all iPhone sizes, and if you have a relatively thin case, you might be able to slip it right in just like this. Now, if you do take your case off and you have a thin iPhone, like an iPhone 6 or 7, you might have a little extra play in this slot that might cause the phone to wobble a little bit back and forth. If you plan on always scanning with the case off, Contact ChromaScan support and we will send you free of charge a sticky backed foam shim that you can stick inside this retaining wall and your phone will fit much more snugly. Once your phone is in place, put two slides under the iPhone and this will keep your phone level and your slides straight while scanning. Next, I'm going to launch the ChromaScan app and go into scan mode. ChromaScan detects the position of the phone and puts the scanner into slide and negative mode automatically. Initially, this is going to be in slide scanning mode as dictated by this template. Now Chroma Scan will capture anything inside this red crop view and the first thing I'm going to do is put a slide in and adjust the play in my phone so that the slide and the red box are aligned. This is something you should only have to do once and should be fine for the rest of the scanning session. From here I can use all the metadata features of Chroma Scan to scan and tag my slides. Let me do just three just to give you an idea of what this is like. Chroma. June 21st, 1987, Yogyakarta, Indonesia. Capture. Capture. Clear all. Chroma. May 18th, 1997, Epcot Center, Florida. Capture. So, three slides down, and now it's time to scan some negatives. I have some color negatives here, and before I start, I'm going to place two slides down on either side of the slide box. This will compensate for the 1 8 inch thickness of the slide box and allow my negatives to slide evenly through the slide box and keep everything level. Now, if you don't have any slides, anything about an eighth of an inch will do, like a couple of pieces of junk mail. Now that I have everything set, I tap on the templates to go into color negatives and right away I should see this red cast. As I slide my negative in, you'll notice that the negative gets inverted inside the crop box so that I can actually see what's getting captured before I scan it. I'm going to align the very first frame, set the metadata, and then capture it. And then do the other three in the series. Let's give it a try. Chroma. April 23rd, 1996. Santa Clara, California. Capture. 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 Okay, that's it. If your negatives are black and white, make sure to tap on the special black and white negative template first. So that's a comprehensive look on how to use the Chroma Scan slide box to scan your slides and negatives. If you have any questions, please open a support ticket and let us know how we can help.